Hello Lomzi team, it's your girl Lomzi. I'm back again with another sewing tutorial on how to sew a shirt placket. I'll walk you through on how to sew with clean finishing. So if you like to sew with clean finishing, then this channel is your channel. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon. Let's start. Let me walk you through how I got this notch. You know, this place is the center front and i have one inch sewing allowance in, in this sewing i have one one inch sewing allowance i have half inch that is sewing allowance and half inch button stand so my shirt placket would stand between this half inch and another half inch here which is one inch so another thing i did is I have cut two strips this one is the one if it, this is two inches I have cut here this is the one that would have the button itself and it will be inside so assuming this is the right side of the fabric by the time I sew this this will be inside like this and you see one line running there so this one i have cut in two and a half inches i folded one inch by the time i sew out half inch sewing allowance i will have something like this I'll sew out half inch and i will have something like this so this is where the bottom hole will be in the center here so let me sew that and show you what I mean. The button stand, stand will be on the left. So this is for the button stand. The one that I have cut in two inches. That is the button side. And this is the front side facing up. And this is the front side. So I'm going to be placing front side facing together. And I sew it. I sew out my half inch sewing allowance. For a clean finishing, I have to top stitch quarter of an inch here. You can see this. So I will top stitch quarter of an inch. So I have done that. This is the back and this is the front. You see, without even ironing it, you see how neat this place is. So this is, let me sew the other side. So this is the front side of the, on the side that will have the bottom hole. This is the front side of the, the front side, and this is the back side. So for me to sew this, the front side of this, facing the back side of this this is the front side this is the front side of this so front side facing the back side of the main fabric i hold it like that and i sew out my half inch sewing allowance this is what I have so this would be like this and this will come this way yeah if I don't top stitch this this is I'll be battling with this place and it will not be neat it will be coming out like that so I am going to be top stitching quarter of an inch again I have to make you I have to you have to note this make sure when you're sewing your strap you have your strap longer than the 
the shirt length, the shirt, the neck. So after sewing it, this is what I have. You have this, that's the line you always see on shirts. You have this like that. So you just place this like this and sew another one here. Remember to put this in between this place. By the time I'm done, this is what I have, like this. This is the bottom stand and this is for the bottom hole. See how neat it is. So remember what I told you that you have to make sure your shirt placket is longer than the shirt itself. So that when you're done, you can now trim off. As you can see, we teach with clean finishing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and do that down below and you hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorials because my tutorials are the bomb, guys. I make sure I show you how to sew with neat, clean finishing. So if you're the type that likes to sew with clean finishing, come sew clean with me.